back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the fire token using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to buy BNB on an exchange like Binance, transferring it over to your smart chain wallet on your Trust Wallet, and then swapping it for the fire token. And I'll just let you guys know as well, I do have lots of cryptocurrency tutorials coming out now and in the future. So if you guys are interested in this space and you'd like to learn lots more, I'd really consider subscribing to the channel as I have lots of content coming out in the future. Uh, but for the fire token, just stay tuned and I'll show you guys exactly how to get it. So the first step that you guys want to do is you guys want to download Trust Wallet from the App Store. So just head over to the App Store and type in Trust Wallet. So I'm going to head over here, search, then just search for Trust Wallet. And that'll just be this first one right here, Trusts, and then the Crypto and Bitcoin Wallet. So you just want to download that first. Then obviously you want to make sure that you have Binance or Coinbase or an exchange of some sort. Uh, and then create accounts on Binance, which is pretty straightforward. Most of you guys probably already have that or at an exchange that you guys at least have access to. Uh, so I'll just leave that as it is. So just make sure you guys download the Trust Wallet first. Uh, once you guys do that, you can exit out of here and open up Trust Wallet. You'll then be greeted with this right here to create a new wallet. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on create a new wallet. And that's just going to let you know here that you have to back up your wallet now. And you will see 12 words that allows you to recover your wallet in the next step. So you just got to click on the bottom here that I understand that if I lose the recovery words, I will not be able to access my wallet. So it's very, very important that you guys do not lose these words or else you will lose access to your wallet. And I do not recommend taking a screenshot either. I recommend just writing it down on a piece of paper and putting it in a safe place. Uh, anyhow, you just want to click on I understand for that and then continue. Then here is your 12 words that you cannot show anyone or anything like that. I'm obviously not going to use this account. That's why I'm okay showing it. Uh, but these are the words that you guys want to write down and keep them in a safe place or else you could lose all your cryptocurrencies that you have in your wallet. Very, very important. Uh, anyhow, once you're done writing this stuff down, you can click on continue. And then you have to put the words in here to verify the recovery phrase. So just make sure you guys go ahead and do that. And then once you guys put those words in and in the right order, you will see this message here that your wallet was successfully created. That's exactly what you want to see. So you just want to go ahead and click on, on OK here. And then what you guys want to do next is you want to transfer over BNB or Smart Chain here. So you're going to have to go to an exchange that you either can purchase BNB or Smart Chain or you already have some in. So I'm just going to show you guys Binance, for example. So we're just going to exit out of here and head over to Binance Exchange. And what you guys want to do on here is you want to either purchase BNB or uh, you could trade it from another crypto into it. So uh, if you guys don't have anything in here yet, you guys first want to obviously create an account on Binance, but I'm going to assume you guys have already done that. Uh, so once you guys are done doing that, you just want to go to a deposit option here. So whether it's a bank transfer or a Visa or MasterCard, you can go ahead and click on that. Once you guys are in here, you guys can just go over to where it says buy. And you just want to switch this over to BNB. And then you just want to choose the amount from your native currency that you guys want to transfer into uh, BNB. So let's just say if I wanted to do $500, I can type in $500 and then it will give me 0.73 BNB. Now, if you're okay with this, you can just click on continue at the bottom and then it will go into your Binance wallet. Now to withdraw your BNB, you just want to go over to the bottom right corner where it says wallets. Click on that. Then you just want to scroll down until you find BNB. Once you guys find BNB here, you just want to go ahead and click on it. Then you want to click on withdraw. What you guys want to do now is you guys want to exit out and back over to your trust wallet. Click on the smart chain. And then you want to click on receive, copy. And this was going to copy the address for the trust wallet. Now you're going to want to put the BNB into the smart chain because it's going to be a lot easier just to quickly transfer it into the coin that you guys are looking for. Uh, so yeah, just transfer the BNB over to the smart chain just like I did here. So you just want to back out of here back over to Binance, and then you want to click on address and paste that address right here. Now, I already have it in my whitelist, so I can just click on it, but you guys are just going to want to paste it up at the very top there. Uh, now, what you guys want to do is you guys want to click on network, and just make sure it is on the BEP20 right here that mine is on. You just want to click on confirm for that, and then you want to click on the amount that you want to transfer. So if you want to transfer all of your BNB, you just click on max, or you can click on the amount that you want to type in and just type in the amount that you want. Once you guys do that, you just want to click on withdraw at the bottom here. Once you guys click on withdraw, it should only take about a couple minutes to go over to your trust wallet. So we'll just give that a couple minutes and then you just want to head back over to your trust wallet. And once you guys have your BNB in your trust wallet, whether you guys decided to purchase it in trust wallet or if you guys transfer it to another exchange, you just want to make sure that your BNB is in your smart chain wallet. So if you do have your BNB in your normal BNB wallet, you just want to go ahead and click on it and then click on more and make sure you click on swap to smart chain because if your BNB is not in your smart chain wallet, it will not show up on PancakeSwap. So it's very important to have that done. 
Uh, but once you guys are ready to add the coin, all you have to do is go to the link I have in the description. It'll be over to CoinMarketCap. And basically all we're gonna do on here is copy the contact address. So you just wanna come down to where it says contracts and then copy that address. Once you guys copy that address, we can exit back out of here, back into Trust Wallet. And we wanna go to the top right of our screens where you see the two lines and the two circles. Click on that. And then you wanna go ahead and paste the address into the top search bar. Now, once you do that, you'll see the fire token pop up here. So we can go ahead and enable the token and click on done. Once you guys do that, we will have to go to the browser on the bottom of your screen here. If you guys don't have the browser here, you just have to go to the second link I have in the description. It'll be over to Trust Wallet support page and it'll show you exactly how to add the browser. So if we just go over here to that link, it'll just bring you to the Trust Wallet support page. And all you guys have to do is scroll down and click on this little link under step one. It will then open up a pop-up and you can just open it up and then it'll bring you into Trust Wallet with your browser. So it's very, very easy to add that. So you just wanna go ahead and add that. But once you have that, or if you already have it, you can just go ahead and open up browser. And then once you're in browser, you wanna find PancakeSwap and click on PancakeSwap. Now, if this is your first time on PancakeSwap, you will have to connect your wallet. And you could do that just by going up to the top right corner where I have that little red circle. You just wanna go ahead and click on connect and then click on trust wallet. So that will load up your BNB balance. Uh, and then once you click on that, you will see that it will come up with your wallet address. And then we can just look over at our balance and just make sure we see our balance here. If you guys don't see your balance there, just make sure you have your BNB in your smart chain wallet. Uh, but once you have your balance and everything is good to go, we can just click on select a currency and we could paste that same address that we got from CoinMarketCap up in this area too. And then you'll see the fire token pop up. So we can just go ahead and click on import. And then I understand and then import. Once you guys have that done, you will then have the fire token inside of the exchange. We then have to change our slippage tolerance around. Now for this token, it does give 6% to its users. Uh, so I would try putting maybe 8% for slippage tolerance. Uh, but you want to make sure that you don't do too low of one because if the transaction doesn't go through, you will be charged fees again. Uh, so let's just do 8% for the example and then exit out. And then in here, all you guys have to do now is you have to decide how much BNB that you want to transfer over into the FIRE token. So let's just say if we we're going to do 0.2, you could do 0.2. And then you will see how much FIRE token you'll get in exchange for that. So if you guys are comfortable with that, you can just click on insufficient BNB balance and then it will bring you over to the page where it will show you guys your withdrawal fees and your rates and things like that. Now, mine is only saying insufficient BNB balance because I obviously don't have the BNB in here. Uh, but if you guys do have your BNB and everything is correct, it'll obviously just tell you to swap here. So just click on swap and then you'll see that next page. It's very, very easy. Uh, but once you guys go through with the transaction and it'll tell you transaction successful, uh, you can then exit out of PancakeSwap and go back over to your wallets and you'll see your fire token inside your wallets here. Uh, anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to get the fire token. If this video does help you out, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.